Welcome to this in-game tutorial map. The Federation needs more citizens like you to help shape the world and beat back the bugs. Start by clicking on any of the green terminals. You can choose any order you like. After you're happy, you can return to the editor to delve into the mechanics of the triggers to see how they work. Move your combat engineers to the doors. On the left side, only one squad can be reinforced, while on the right side, you can reinforce as many times as needed. Orders? Yes, sir. Engineers? Yes, sir. Now. Roger that. Sir, engineers, follow what me. Come on, people. Tell us what Stash to do. Stash your tools and move sir, out. Roger that. Select a terminal. Only pre-placed units or units with blackboard names can make use of the redeploy trigger. Give it a try. Click on the terminals to spawn in units and observe the results. Engineers, now hear this. What do you need? Affirmative. Yes, sir. Sir, roger that. Reading you. Yes, sir. Sir. Affirmative. Engineers. Affirmative. Now. Select a terminal. There are various approaches to remove units from the map. You can choose between instant removal, evacuation via a dropship, or having them enter doors. Each method has its own time frame for achieving the removal. Select a terminal. Switching units to player control can be accomplished through various means. Move your tactical officer closer to the squad on the right to gain instant control. The squad on the left, the terminal must be captured first to achieve the same outcome. Select a terminal. You might need to change what a unit represents or switch a building to another type. You can achieve this through a unit type switch. Give it a try, move your squad to the support center, then capture the terminal. Select a terminal. You can trigger different methods for spawning units for the player, whether it's through a dropship following a specific action or by approaching various locations around your map. Roger that! Select a terminal. Briefings are a fundamental tool for conveying your story, much like I'm doing right now. These briefings can be presented with voice and text, or just text, and can be designed to be skippable or non-skippable. What happened here? How did the bugs get here? Better let Command know of this, they will not be too happy. What is it? Good to go!
Comms base is operational, sir. Select a terminal. Timers are excellent for creating delays in actions or providing players with a specific time frame to accomplish a goal. Why not give it a try? The left side features a 5 second timer, while the right side has a 10 second timer with an outcome at the end. Select a terminal. Some units need to stand out and one effective way to do so is by giving them a gold star. Whether it's a unit that requires protection or one that serves as a hero unit, this distinction can make them easily recognizable. Sir, roger that. Engineers, affirmative. Yeah, Select a terminal. Unit select triggers can be quite useful when you want to click on an object in the game world and have actions associated with that click. For instance, you can click on the terminal and observe what happens. Select a terminal. You can establish triggers so that when an enemy unit is attacked, Associated actions take place. Attacking the warrior bugs here will trigger a briefing, a minimap ping, and a change in music. Select a terminal. You can issue orders for units, whether they are allied or enemy units, to attack move to a specific location. While under this effect, the units will move to the designated location and engage any enemy they encounter along the way. Select a terminal. You might want to expose a part of the game map and either pan the camera to it or swiftly relocate to that spot. For instance, you can unveil the next objective or reveal an enemy hive. Do this now by moving your tactical officer to the terminals. Yes, sir. Select a terminal. You might want to provide hints to your players, whether it's to describe an item or unit or offer guidance like capture this base or move units here. Text bubbles are a valuable tool to use in your missions. Select a terminal. There will be occasions when you need to either disable or enable a trigger during your mission. These functionalities are useful when you want a trigger to activate after a specific action has occurred. In this example, we're using a simple redeploy trigger. You can enable and disable it by moving your officer to the appropriate zone. Select a terminal.
Objectives are a crucial component of any mission as they inform the player of their next task. They need to be enabled, and their status should change based on the outcome. Most of the objective editing is performed through the Objectives tab in the editor. Objective complete. Dropships on standby, ready for orders. Select a terminal. Variables are a useful tool for maintaining hidden counters, especially when the player is required to collect items in your map and need a way to count them. Variables can help you keep track of these activities. Begin this section by moving your unit to the gate, then collect a power cell at the nearby generator and install it at the gate by approaching it. While this is happening, your variable is silently keeping track in the background. Proceed with this process until the gate finally opens. In this segment, we will employ a random selection mechanism to designate one group of rifle troopers as having green ownership. Their ownership will revert to gray, and then, after an additional 10 seconds, it will switch back to green. This cycle will continue throughout this example. Select a terminal. In this tutorial, we'll delve into arachnid hives, a crucial element in your mission. Utilizing triggers with these hives can either assist or challenge the player, and will concentrate on the various actions you can take with hives. Let's begin by clicking on Terminal 1. Once that segment is complete, feel free to click the reset terminal, and we can start anew, this time focusing on Terminal 2. At the moment, this hive is configured as neutral, meaning no bugs will spawn from it regardless of the player's proximity. Now, let's switch things up and set it to active, changing its owner to the arachnids. We can achieve this using the hive status set and unit owner switch effects. Sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. In this phase, will set up an event to unfold once the hive has been cleared of arachnids. Whether it's marking an objective as complete, introducing new bugs for the next hive, or providing a briefing confirming the hive is cleared, we'll tailor the triggers accordingly. For this phase, we'll employ the hive status and hatchery population triggers to verify that the hive is free of arachnids. Once confirmed as cleared, these triggers will initiate the designated outcome. Sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Objective complete. Sir, additional supplies are now available. Select a terminal. Command has instructed me to reactivate a nearby radio station. I should get moving. Yes, roger that. I wonder how I can go about getting this gate to open. 
Sir, affirmative. This ain't gonna be a picnic. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Yes? This ain't gonna be a picnic. Let's hope this control panel has the power to unlock the gate. Sir, affirmative. Yes? This ain't gonna be a picnic. Roger that. Comms base is operational, sir. Command, I'm reporting that outpost Victor Zulu is now fully operational. However, we'll need to construct supporting structures to facilitate unit reinforcement in this area. This is command. A construction crew is en route to your location to kickstart the operation. We recommend exploring the nearby area, as there may be leftover supplies from the last evacuation during the arachnid attack. I've acquired the necessary supplies to request a rifle squad. Standing by. Sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Yes? This ain't gonna be a picnic. Listen on the move. Sir. Move out. Affirmative. Yes? Looks like the bugs have decided to stay. Let's make it our mission to clear them out from the area. We must evacuate these civilians. Objective complete. Roger that. Objective complete. Objective complete. 